All right, so we're going to be battling Timothy. They have an Iron Bundle, a Murkrow, a Backscalibur, a Titan, a Meow and an Abomasnow. I think what we want to lead off with is Glamora and Rapska. If we can set up Trick Room, then we will be pretty solid. And I'm going to leave King Gambit as the Pokemon in the back. I think I'm really worried because he has two dark types and Meowskarda is very, very intimidating. Very, very intimidating. Even without a super effective dark type move, just that flower trick and the crit on it is going to be doing a lot of damage to Hisui and Zorark. Bomb of Snow and Iron Bundle. I'm okay with this. All right, speed was heightened. I don't, I don't really care for that. I think uh, going for going for Mortal Spin is ideal, and then going for Trick Room, Blizzard hit really hard. We do get the poison on both Pokemon. blizzard where we get off the trick room we successfully get off the trick room so unless he has an aqua jet he's going to be taking some damage here and right now i don't really care if both of my pokemon go down it really doesn't matter i I, I'm, I'm gonna go for Bug Buzz. I'm gonna go for Bug Buzz and try to take out a Bomb of Stone into one single shot. I have Heal Pulse on the Klowitzer, so we can do it. And then we will activate the Throat Spray, boosting our special attack. So we KO the Bomb of Snow. Which is nice. You love to see it. You love to see it. Power gem. I don't think it kills. It does kill. Jesus. So we don't lose either Pokemon here. All right. I just need him to activate toxic debris. And we can just go for Hex with Hisui and Zorg. Backscalibur, the sociable. Okay. And Sid Titan, the rank master. All right, this is good. We got two physical attackers. I'm going to go for Power Gym and a Backscalibur. Uh, I think I'm just going to double, actually. I don't know. He, he could have ice shards on Titan. I think Titan does get ice shards. He terrestrializes. He terrestrializes in the ghost type. Okay. Oop, the stink can do. And he protects. Ah, oh, no, he wins. What does he do here? All right, so it was Ice Shard. Good to know. I'm okay with this. We can just send in Hagakure. And we gain strength from the Fallen. I, I changed it from Defiant to Supreme Overlord because, honestly, Hagakure is such a cool name. And then on top of that, well, let's just be honest. Getting that assured attack boost is more important. It's more important. It's just more important than anything else. Getting that assured attack boost off of it. Ooh. 
We go for Kowtow Cleave. We take out some Titan. I want a shiny some Titan so bad. <laughs> I really do. Like, if I had one, I would never stop using it. We go for Power Gym. KO's the Murkrow. Honestly, this is just perfectly played from start to finish. Perfectly played from start to finish. And I think we still have some Trick Room turns to go. But Supreme Overlord plus Choice Band. We hit like a truck. We hit like a truck. Everything is just going to get hit for a lot of damage. I think I want to switch out though. I think I want to switch into Zorg. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to try to go for Power Gem here and I'm going to switch. I just need to see how many turns do I have left? Okay, this is the final turn of Trick Room. I suppose we just go for Power Gem and then. I think I'll just switch into Zorg, I guess. I don't really see him being able to take out King Gambit with Meow Scarda. He protects, okay. The way I see it, it doesn't matter. If I lose the, um, if I lose the Glamour here, it just boosts the power. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, okay. You you done earned an enemy here. You, you made an enemy of me. You've made an enemy of me, and you shouldn't have done that. Do we get another Supreme Overlord boost? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I'm going to go for Power Gem, and I'm going to go for Brick Break. It doesn't matter if he knocks off the choice band. If he knocks off the choice band, he just gives me a little bit more uh, freedom to use other moves. But Brick Break is going to kill him either way. <sighs> he knocked off my choice band. Oh no, whatever am I getting to do? Oh no. Oh my Jesus. Why are you carrying Brick Break on that? God. Oh Jesus, that's not enough. Okay. Hmm. Power Gym to Meow Scarda. And I'd say, I'd say Night Days in the back Scalibur. He sets up Toxic Debris. I mean, this unraveled real quick towards the end. The knockoff into the, uh, the King Gambit slot was kind of wild. That was kind of wild. Like, was not anticipating that at all. Now we just Dark Pulse and I just U-turn. One of them is going to kill him. And if he goes for knockoff, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, he knocks off the Cloitzer. It's like he has superhuman knowledge of which Pokemon to knock off. But that's fine. We win. We take out the Meow Scarta with a quad super effective U-turn. I mean, I gotta hand it to Timothy, man. That knockoff was starting to do dividends. It took out the uh, Hisuian Zorg. It took out the Glamora. It, it did pretty decent damage into the um, into the Cloitzer. He was... That knockoff is annoying. All right, so we're going to be battling Louise. They have a Samurott, a Meow Scarta, a Sidueye, 
a Greninja, a Cinderace, and a Quackle. They have all of the starters, man. All of the starters. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Zork, Glamora. And we're going to have Hagakure in the back. We want to set up Stealth Rocks. We want to inflict Poison status. We need these Toxic Spikes up. He has a whole team of physical attackers, so Toxic Spikes are going to go up. We can really start looking at some powerful Hexes into his team. It's just a matter of getting the Toxic Spikes up making sure they stay up and then just outspeeding everything with hex i mean honestly i should have probably went for like choice scarf for the um hisuian zorg also the only reason i switched for normal zorg as my lead is because my experience with hisuian zorg on the team is people go for knockoffs and they go for dark type moves even if it doesn't make sense because they think that that's the Pokemon standing in front of them. And for them, as long as they can kill it, that's all that matters. That's what they think. That is honestly what they think. We're going to go for a Night Days into Decidueye. And we're going to go for Stealth Rocks. It goes for Liquidation. Probably into, into the Zorg. That's wild. Well, you didn't kill me, so... And we get a night days, almost killing the, the CGI. I'm actually surprised that the CGI lived that. And he goes for low sweep. Okay. That's wild though. That's wild. I'm gonna go for Bitter Malice. I think we're pretty fast on the Glamora. Yeah, Glamora's pretty fast. I... I... <sighs> I think Glamour is pretty fast. I think Glamour is pretty fast. We're gonna go for Mortal Spin here. Oh, did a lot of damage. And we lowered the attack stat. And this is good because he sets up Toxic Debris. He sets up Toxic Debris. He sets up toxic debris. That's all I wanted. The decision why goes down. He's almost dead to poison. I don't even need to attack him. I don't even need to attack him next turn. <sighs> no, Scarda. I'm not, I'm not switching in on this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not staying in on this. I'm um, actually maybe I can. Maybe I can. No, 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 no. I, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. I am not dumb. <laughs> we're gonna switch into Hagakure, and we're gonna go for Sludge Wave. So I hope he targets well. If he doesn't take out the uh, Glamora, then he's looking at losing two Pokemon here. Mm, another layer of Toxic Spikes. Yep, he, he went for it. He went for it. Greninja dies to poison.
I am gonna send in Cloetzer. Cinderace. Ah, man. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Please think about the kids. Think about the children. Think about the children. <laughs> We're gonna switch into Zorg on the uh, Agukure. And I'm going to go for an Aurora Spirit and Meowth Garda. I'm not expecting to live this. I'm really hoping he goes for like a high jump kick or something. No! Nah. That did nothing to me. Oh, it gave me paralysis. Are you serious? We do take out the Meowth Garda. That, that just pissed me off, though. It's like, literally. Of all the things we go down to, that's it? Like, that's what we go down to? Are you serious? Also badly poisoned. We're gonna go for Trick Room, and I'm gonna try to go for Roar Spear and a Cinderace. It goes for Trailblaze. We live that though. And he goes for Aqua Step. Okay, so we live this. We live this. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. And we take out the Cinderace. is not looking too good right now that aqua step is not working for you right now buddy that aqua step is not working for you it's not doing dividends like you thought it would okay what do i want to do i think i want to go for bug buzz into oh, bug buzz won't even affect it i'm probably going to go for we're going to go for bug buzz and a samurai Actually, no. Extra sensory into Quackle Bowl. And if it still survives. Okay. That too. That works too. That works too. Double into the Quackle Bowl. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad he did that. Because we have Retaliate on... Hagakure, so this would be a perfect way to close out the match. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a perfect way to close out the match. 140 base power retaliate with choice ban after Supreme Overlord is gonna be doing so much damage. It's gonna be doing so much damage. Yeah, it's just gonna be doing so much damage. I don't even think I need to do anything. I'm bringing back Hisuian's Zork. Oh. And that is how you close out a match. That is how you close out a match. You gotta end it with Retaliate. You gotta end it with Retaliate. If you're not doing that, what are you doing? What are you doing in your life? If you don't have a King Gambit with Retaliate and you use it, what are you doing? All right, so we're gonna be battling lightning. They have a walking wake, a burloom, a fluttermane, great tusk, pelipper, and a gold dingo. I think I'm pretty good with leading off with Zorg here and Glamora. No, I think I'm gonna leave Rabska as like the final one.
because if it's exactly Hagakure, aka King Gambit, in the back, then they'll know I'm following the exact same order. I don't know, man. I have to pray that they just don't assume that the Pokemon in front of them is the Hisuian's art. I just gotta pray. I gotta pray, man. I'll look around Walking Wake. Okay, Walking Wake is huge. You know, King ain't gotta do this, man. You ain't gotta do this. I got a wife and kids. We're gonna taunt the Pelipper, and uh, I'm just gonna go for a mortal spin. If I can taunt the Pelipper, that'd be great. I don't want you setting up a tailwind. He goes for Hydro Steam. That's okay. Oh, and he's Life Ward too. That's great. That's great. We get the Poison status on the Pelipper. And then we get the Poison status on Walking Wake. And he can't use Tailwind after time. Yes! Get outplayed, my friend. Get outplayed. Now I gotta go for Hex. And I'm gonna go for. Actually, do I need to go for this? No, I, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. I really don't think I need to. Please kill. Yes! We take out Walking Wake. What is the Pelipper gonna do? We get Power Gym, we KO the Pelipper. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. This is nasty. This is nasty. Like, this is... this is brutal. <laughs> that was such a perfect first turn. Okay, he sends out Burloom. Mm. Great Tuss. I'm gonna go for Psychic. Psychic and Mortal Spin. I mean, if I was him, I'd probably go for Earthquake. You really don't lose much. Okay, he mock punches. And he sets up Toxic Debris. That's good. I think I'm just kind of worried because I don't know what Great Tusk is going to do. We take out the Burloom with Psychic from the Hisuian Zord. And he knocks off. It's okay. It's okay. The Hisuian Zord did what it needed to do. I'm proud of it. I just hope Fluttermane is in the next one that's getting sent out, man. If it's Fluttermane, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. If it's Fluttermane, we're in big trouble. Oh, it's Fluttermane. Jesus Christ. Okay. This isn't the end of the world. This isn't the end of the world. This is not the end of the world. What is it? Oh, what, what gets boosted? His speed gets boosted. Okay. Water Pulse, and I Trick Room. Actually, yeah, yeah, I Trick Room, I Trick Room here. This is easy, this is easy. Easy dubs, easy dubs here. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. There we go, so that way knockoff won't be super effective, and we can get the Trick Room off. 
We eat that. We eat that. Thank you for setting up the rain. Unless you knocked off the wrong Pokemon, you should have knocked off the Glowitzer. Because now that means Glowitzer is one of the fastest Pokemon in the uh, in the game right now. Goldingo, honestly, yeah, Goldingo might be a problem. Nah, nah, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. I just thought about it. It's not a problem. I'm gonna bring back the Suin Zorg, even if there's no need to. I just want to use it. I just like using it. Okay, Terrasalizes. And the Ghost type. Okay. Take out Great Tusk. Then what is he gonna do? Shadow Ball. Oh boy. Into Glowitzer. That's that's absurd. I'm gonna go for Bitter Malice. I'm just gonna go for Bitter Malice. And extra sensory. Hopefully we can get a flinch here. And he's Shadow Balls. All right, that's good, that's good. That means he's soon gonna wrap this up then. That is how you want to match. That is how you want to match. And we defeated Lightning. That's perfect, man. That's that's just really perfect. He's suing Zorak is really good. Just having double Zorak as well is really just great because it's mind games. I think the only thing you have to really worry about is just the knockoffs, man. Every Pokemon can pretty much run knockoff and um if they think that you're carrying that Hisu and Zork, they're gonna go for that knockoff. That's something you gotta worry about. But um, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be using Hisu and Zork a lot more. I appreciate, um, I appreciate my viewers. I don't know what to say, man. Like I know that you guys traded me a Hisu and Zork in my last stream, and I just love it. I just love it. And I have bred a couple of Hisuian Zoras to potentially give away in a live stream here on YouTube. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.